And, you know, the beautiful thing when God gave us free will, he gave the part of the gift of free will is making us the self-responsible beings that we are. And what I notice a lot of religious people do, and a lot of people who read the Paget messages also do, is that they believe that God will somehow magically wipe them clean of their sin without them being, needing to take some action to become aware of where they are actually sinning. Yeah. And, and it, it makes no sense from the perspective of God's viewpoint of will and, mm. and trying to make humankind completely responsible for the creation of their own sin. Yeah. See, see, God didn't create sin. Humans did. You create your own sin. Mm. Nobody else is responsible. You know, there's no devil influencing you, although there are many demons or spirits in the spirit world who love you sinning. <laughs> There is no, you know, powerful devil who, who in the end will, will get you to sin. And th there is just you, your will, and the influences that you come under and the exercise of your will into temptation that causes you to sin. Mm -hmm. and, and until you even recognise that you're sinning, how can the soul have an estate? It's not in a state of awareness. Mm -hmm. How can it develop a state of awareness while you believe your sin is good? It's not going to ever develop a state of awareness. Mm -mm. And that's why we said there, the soul has to get ready to receive love. Yeah. And that is not done by you receiving love beforehand. It's like you're in a probation before then. You've got to go through a process, then you get your license. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly the same on earth when we go to get a driver's license or something. We go through a probationary period where we work through different issues and we learn the laws and we learn how those laws govern us and we, and we drive with helpers and all those kind of things happen. And then we get our license. Mm -hmm. Right? It's exactly the same with regard to God with receive, receiving God, if you, receiving God's love. If you think of God's love as the license, if you like, mm -hmm. uh, in the sense that it's the license to wipe away the penalties uh, and the actual causes of our sin. If you think of that as the license, it requires a whole heap of things for us to do to get ready. And, and when I say a whole heap of things, it's really only one simple thing, but over and over again with the different sins we commit. So the one simple thing is we have to become aware yeah. and we have to get to a state where we're sorry for what we do and we're not going to get into that state until we recognise that we're actually sinning and to see it as a sin. And then we become aware and then we may ask for forgiveness and now we get the licence, if you like. We now get the licence to rub away, well, God rubs away mm -hmm. the causes of our sin and, the, and therefore its effects as well. Um, but. But honestly, it's not going to happen without us first going through this period of becoming aware. And truthfully, that is, as we've mentioned, very difficult for people to do. Yes, but mostly are... because we're so embroiled in sin. Yes. You know, if, we, if mankind was without sin, then it would be very easy to, to receive God's love because every time we had a longing for it, we'd receive it. Yeah. But, but while we're sinners and we want to sin, it's very difficult. And the world as it is today is in, entrenched in sin, I feel, that yes. in that it's, it's normalised. People's sin it's, is It's not only normalised, as... it's, it's honoured. Yes. It's lauded. It's, yeah. uh, it's, not a, it's approved of. It's, you it's know, rewarded. It's rewarded. Yes. <laughs> and so I do feel um, for those people out there who have been attempting to engage this process of recognizing your sin and coming to grips with it and just growing a will to actually let it go it's courageous work that you're doing and it does take time mm, but i don't see many people doing it <laughs> <laughs> i agree with the statement but even most of the people who have listened to divine truth you look at you look at it it's true. over the over the years we've been teaching it now for me it's been like uh it's now 11 this is the 11th year i've been teaching it over that time, I've observed very, very few people have a desire to know where they sin. They just don't want to know. Yeah. And, and that's why you're not receiving divine love rapidly, because you don't want to know where you sin. If you wanted to know where you sin, you, you'd, be, you'd have a very good head start already. You, you'd already have received a lot of love and you'd already not be sinning very much. Do, do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's why we don't have many friends, honey. <laughs> <laughs> well... I feel like I feel the momentum. It's like a, the sin on this planet is like a runaway train. Yeah. Uh, 
everybody thinks it's going down the right direction. And, and when you tell, when you're a person putting your hand up and going, no, no, <laughs> you're going in the wrong direction and you stand in front of a runaway train, <laughs> most of the time you get run over. <laughs> right? And because the, the momentum of the entire world is towards like honouring sin, promoting sin, hiding hi sin, highlighting sin, hi hi choosing to call it something pretty when it's really yucky. Yeah, and, it's just like, yeah. yeah, I can think of many ways that happens. Yeah. And, and while the world has that viewpoint, there's a tendency for us individually to have that viewpoint then. And so when someone comes along like a voice in the wilderness says, <laughs> says hang on a sec, you know, did you notice then when you treated your husband or your wife, that is a sin and that is the reason why you're not receiving God's love. And they go, that wasn't a sin. She deserved it. You know, that, you know, no, that, everyone does that. Everyone does that. What are you talking about? You know, you're a bit you're, sensitive. You're a bit too sensitive. <laughs> and you know, what, you want me to be perfect? Yes. <laughs> but, yeah, but <laughs> you know, there, there's all these argumentations that are created, argumentative ideas and concepts, and even philosophical ideas mm -hmm. that are created to avoid the simple fact. And that is you just sinned. And you need to become aware of it before any goodness is going to develop within your soul. Yeah. <laughs> Quite simple. Yeah. Yeah.